The tables turn. First Lorenzo in the gravel in Spain and Rossi victorious. Then Rossi on the ground in France and Lorenzo atop the podium. It's happened. I won the race. Valentino's crash. In the, the best of my dreams, I didn't imagine this can happen. Four races, one pole position each, three winners, almost even on points. Stay on the bike and stay in one piece. That's the key. Stoner, Pedrosa and Lorenzo all crashed out of races and broke bones in 2008. Rossi never fell once in 18 races. But he's crashed now. A chink in the armor, maybe. Mugello belongs to Valentino Rossi. He's won here every year since 2002. But this time it's Lorenzo on pole, Stoner beside him, and Rossi on the second row. Pedrosa is eighth. He crashed in practice. Then he had a scare in the morning warm-up session. I had a very big, uh, almost high side. I felt a big crack here inside. And from that point on, it was almost impossible to, to ride just when he was getting fit. The weathers followed them from Le Mans. Lorenzo crashes before the race has even started. That'll dent your confidence. I was so worried after the, my crash in the warm-up lab. Also in the start, I have some problems with the spinning on the rear. Uh, everybody overtake me and I was almost the last. It's another flag-to-flag -flag rodeo, this time with Marco Melandri actually taking the lead from Rossi at one point. Once the track has dried and the riders have switched to slick tyres, it's a fight to the finish between the Yamahas, the Ducati and the Honda. The Honda is not Pedrosa, it's his teammate Andrea Di Vizioso. Pedrosa is down in 11th, and then he's down and out. This weekend, Casey Stoner seems a lot happier with his bike. From the beginning, I had a much better feeling, much better rhythm, making sure I wasn't making any mistakes because there's still quite a lot of water on the track. But then... We started having problems with the clutch. I was going down the main straight and it was just spinning out. There was no power going through the bike. And I thought it was race over. I thought I'd burnt the clutch out somehow and uh, we weren't going to be able to finish the race. So I just tried adjusting it as much as I could. And we got it to a point where it started to grab again and, and go. Uh, then we started having the, the bike lock up coming into the corners because we'd adjusted the clutch too far in. It was really, really difficult to ride. Stoner now does what he can do better than anybody. He adapts to the situation and goes even faster. This could be a big day for Ducati. They've never won at their home track. Can Stoner do it? The track's slippery. The bike's a handful. The clutch is grabbing, but you're in Italy, on a Ducati, and you're Casey Stoner. You can win this. <laughs>